Good morning, and welcome to your weekly message from First Congregational Church, Milford, New Hampshire. I'm your pastor, Al Hoyt. Today is Thursday, February 15th. If you are one of those who um, contributes to the greeting, your articles are due today. At 7.30 this evening will be choir rehearsal. And I encourage you, if you're interested in joining us in the, in the choir, come on down and give it a try. We have a lot of fun in rehearsals, and, um, and we have a lot of fun on together pretty much all the time. Saturday, February 17th at 7.30 is the men's breakfast at the Masonic Hall. From 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. is the Hillsborough County Fair Volunteer Appreciation Dinner. Not sure where it is, but Sunday, February 8th, is the first Sunday of Lent. As you know, yesterday was Ash Wednesday, and we had a few people come in for ashes, and um, we did have a live service here in the sanctuary last night. But this Sunday is the first Sunday of Lent. Uh, adult Bible study at the parish house at 9 in the morning, followed by our um, Regular worship service at 10 a.m., live stream. Um, following the church service, the church teaching committee will be meeting in my office since it's um, one of the days that Teresa is preaching. Following the church service, the Board of Christian Education will be meeting in the parish house and during coffee hour. Speaking of coffee hour... <clears throat> Coffee Hour and February Potluck Sign Up. As for Coffee Hour, please sign up to help host and donate snacks. The sign up sheets for all Coffee Hours between now and the end of June will be out until on Sundays, and the sign up sheets are always on the refrigerator in the main kitchen at the parish house. If you have any questions, please contact Carol Whittier. We need sign ups for the potluck. February potluck theme is dishes from where you have traveled. I forgot to sign up, but I'll be making uh, a Guatemalan dish called halichas, which is a shredded beef with a tomato, tomato and pepper sauce. So I hope to see many of you there. Altar flowers are needed. Um, please sign up to, for altar flowers. Consider providing flowers for church services. It's always nice to dedicate flowers in honor or in memory of someone or for a special occasion. Contact Carol in the office and let her know when you want to provide flowers. Monday, February 19th, the church office will be closed for President's Day. Tuesday, February 20th, from 6.30 to 9, the Sauhegan Valley Chorus will be rehearsing in the sanctuary. Wednesday, February 21st, will be the first of our Lenten soup and bread suppers. Um, and then followed immediately by the Lenten Bible study. At 7.30 on Wednesday will be the Board of Trustees meeting. It's a hybrid meeting, and the link will go out that afternoon. And next Saturday, February 24th, uh, members, members who have signed up will be attending the New Hampshire Conference um, Prepared to Serve event. Um, I'll be attending, um, several other people will be attending, some virtually and some in person. Um, and then that afternoon on February 24th, we have a wedding in the sanctuary. Um, always a good time. Always enjoy doing weddings. Um, we still have a few of the Lenten devotional books, Lifted Up in Love. Um, we've only got two or three left, so if you didn't get one, Please let us know. So yesterday, um, in the Daily Devotional, Vince Amlin, who is another writer that I really, really enjoy, um, posted a Daily Devotional called, Can You Keep a Secret? Of course, it was for Valentine's Day. So, um, And Vince quotes Matthew 6, verses 5 and 6. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners so that they may be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, 
they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And Vince writes, In a workshop with Athol Fugard many years ago, the renowned playwright warned us aspiring young writers, don't tell anyone about the project you're working on. Keep it a secret for as long as you can. His point was that as soon as you told someone that you were writing, it lost a little of its magic. Sharing that story, however briefly, lessens its urgency. Better to keep it a secret. To walk around the world with the hidden knowledge that you were about something. To let your work be animated by the mystery you're holding on to. Jesus says the same thing about prayer. When you do it for others to see, it loses its power. The reward is immediate, but fleeting. Better to keep it a secret, to walk around the world with hidden knowledge that you are about something, to let your life be animated by the mystery you're holding on to. What would it be like to have a secret with God this Lent? To take on a prayer practice and to keep it for your, to yourself as long as you can. To be animated by something urgent and powerful that others can only guess at. And the prayer is, Holy One, can you keep a secret? That particular scripture reading reminds me very much of, of my father's attitude towards prayer and especially pray, praying in front of other people. So please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. So we're getting into our very busy Lent season. I hope that you'll participate. I hope you'll spend some time with the devotional. I hope you'll spend some time thinking about what Lent means and thinking about what Lent is and anticipating moving forward and moving into the season of preparation, preparation for the resurrection. I hope, you, I hope you will spend some serious time in prayer and in thought and think about all of the things that, that make this season as, as special as it is. So until I see you again, take good care of each other. Take good care of yourself. And God bless each and every one of you.